Well, many people in Wisconsin have been looking forward to this week for a very long time. Yes, indeed. The Packers did not have a great season <laughs> last year. This Thursday, they get their chance for a fresh start against longtime rivals, the Chicago Bears. That's right. And with us right now, Wayne Larravee is the play-by-play -play announcer for the Packers Radio Network. He's here. He's going to be talking about the big game. Yeah, good to see you again. Good to see you guys. Hi, hi how are you? Good. You guys sound like sports talk jocks. <laughs> you like that? Wow, I like it. <laughs> That's about all you'll get out of us. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, so last year, not so great of a season. Right. Yeah. How yeah. do you how are you feeling overall just as you kind of come back to the football? Season? This is a better team than they had a year ago. It's yeah. a better team than they've had the last several years. A um, lot of new faces on this squad. Obviously a new coaching staff, new head coach. Um, but this team has the potential to be very good. I just am not sure when it that's going to be because oh, maybe they're still the building. They're still growing. It'll be interesting to see where they are once they get out of the gate here on Thursday night. Well, mm -hmm. it, it was kind of hard to know where they are in the preseason, Wayne, because <laughs> we didn't see any of the starts. Absolutely. There's no Rodgers in preseason. Yeah, I, and I, I notice more and more teams are starting to do that in the NFL. Almost all of them are. Why? It's, yeah, I, well, they don't want to get their stars hurt. They don't want to get starters hurt oh. and lost for the season. Now, an injury can happen even at practice, and most of the most devastating injuries we see in the NFL are non-contact injuries. Mm. However, um, most of the league has basically taken the preseason and evaluated the lower third of their roster. That's how they're building their teams and their starters. They basically kept on the sidelines. They want to get them to the starting gate fresh. However, what this does is you're exactly right. Uh, you don't know what you've got. Right. Yeah. And it's all based on what they did last year. Well, these teams change year to year. Well, that's what I was wondering. The chemistry, the way that they yeah. click. If, I mm -hmm. mean, you'd think when you're practicing, or you're playing in preseason, you sort of get this groove. And that's what you bring into the season. It's like they're not having an opportunity to start with that. They're not playing games. They're mm -hmm. playing practicing. Right. There's no doubt about that. that. You know, that's a big part of it. And the coaches feel they get better reps in practice than maybe they would in a preseason game. However, mm -hmm. um, when you get to a game, there's nothing like being in a game where you're live hitting. There's no live hitting going on in practice. Right. So, you know, it's really a mystery for all of us uh, following these teams. The so, idea behind it. One of the key mysteries is that, like you said, the new coach. Yeah. So mm -hmm. how do you think the team's going to respond under Matt LaFleur? I, I think they've responded very well thus far under uh, Matt LaFleur. He's uh, you know, he's got a nice staff. They, they, the quarterback's very happy with the offense. I talked to him yesterday. Uh, he's excited about the season, the start of the season, and the offense they're in. Um, they're going up against the best defense in the NFL last year. Mm -hmm. and will they be the same this year? Maybe, maybe not. But uh, the Bears are a heck of a challenge to start out with. Well, huge rival, obviously, forever. What are some other maybe key matchups that we should watch for this year? Well, I, I think, you know, the Minnesota game, following the Bears game, mm -hmm. is huge for the Packers early in the season. I mean, they're starting out with uh, Minnesota, uh, following the Chicago game. Mm -hmm. Then they'll have Denver at home and then Philadelphia on a Thursday night. Philadelphia favored by many to make a run at the Super Bowl. So okay. the Packers early season schedule is really severe. It's yeah. tough yeah. and we'll find out right away where they are. I like that. Some of those big, big hitters out yeah. the gate. Mm -hmm. All right, let's talk a little bit about what all the analysts are saying. Everybody's, you know, <laughs> uh, what do they call it? Uh, you know, sort of a, oh, I predict this or I predict right. that. So what do you think, um, what are early impressions of the season for the team? Yeah, do you think we got a shot at the at, Super at Bowl? At Super Bowl run? You're kind of saying that for some of the, for Philadelphia. <laughs> <laughs> where well, do you think we are in there? <laughs> well, I'd like to see how it develops, but I think the Packers have a shot to get back into the playoff mix. And if you get to the playoffs, anything can happen. Yeah. And in fact, it did in 2010. Okay, so we kind of had this edge against the, you know, the Bears back, mm -hmm. you know, back then. Yeah, I noticed Mrs. Bear is not here. Where <laughs> you know, is she today? It's so funny because I'll tell you not only that, but Molly in the open when we're like, and Wayne Larvey is going to be here and he's going to be talking about the Packers. She had written in the Bears. <laughs> 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 she wanted to see if I would catch it and keep it. So you're kind of off the hook today on a little bit of that, but you did used to. But, you you're, know, but you're from Minnesota. So I'm you're from kind Minnesota. Of like I'm from Michigan. Don't even. Look oh at my me. God! We do not want to talk about the Lions we, at all. We've <laughs> got the <laughs> NFC North covered here, <laughs> except know, for really Molly. Because where was home? But you used to work for the Bears. I used to uh, do their games on yes. WGN in Chicago. Yeah, 14 you, years. Do you have? Do you have a, like still sort of an affi affiliation? You know, since you worked there for so long. Because I always wonder, like, you know, when you you work somewhere, you go somewhere, you always have a special spot in your heart for that place. Sure, uh, Chicago was great for me, and, and it was it was wonderful. But I. I've been here now 21 years. Mm -hmm. So people who remember me, whenever they say to me, oh, I remember when you were the voice of the Bears, I said, well, you're dating yourself. <laughs> That's your fault. That's right? your problem, yeah. 
It's cool. We've got some fast questions for you. All right. Um, you don't have to answer them like uber fast, but we want to kind of go through these with you. First and foremost, do you have any pre-game pre rituals that you have to do before uh, the game? Yeah. Uh, I have to look out onto the field when they're warming up. Mm -hmm and see if I can remember anybody's number out there. Oh, that's great. You must and it gets worse the older I get, you know what I mean? You must have a cheat sheet, Wayne. Don't you oh, keep that handy? Gosh. All right, how about this? Have you ever lost your voice before a big game? Yes. Oh, yeah. that's bad. But not, not necessarily a football game. It was a basketball game, an NCAA tournament game, where I just, and I had two games to do that day. Had to squeak through? Yeah, squeak through, yeah. <laughs> All right, next one. Do you get to pick your spotter for the game? Uh, n yes. And is the spotter who? Who well, is the it depends on where we are, but mm -hmm. um, you know the spotter is usually the same guy every every we uh, week. It used to be Carl Mall, oh. and now we've got kind of a new crew moving in there. But Carl Mall was our executive producer, and he was also um, the guy who spotted for me during the games. Yeah, it's a it's the play by play is a teamwork type yeah. thing. Yeah. It really is, and you know so yeah. The, a relay. The same guy will do it. Um, uh, you know, for the most part, yeah. yeah. I just have one last question. Do you walk around the house saying, where is your dagger? There's your dagger. Let's hear it. No. <laughs> but you no. will do it for people. No, you know, you <laughs> if I did that, I could get into trouble. You know what I mean? <laughs> I thought it was But fun. it's a special one. All right, last one. Do people always ask you for Packers tickets? Yes. <laughs> and, and by the way, folks, I no longer do tickets anymore. <laughs> Out, out a quick tickets. story about that. Uh, last year, a friend of mine asked for tickets. I got him tickets to the wrong game. Oh, no. And they were coming in from out of state. So, no, I don't do tickets anymore. <laughs> oh, that's great. All right, so the big matchup is here on today's yep. TMJ4. It's on Thursday, but feel free to turn down the TV and listen to Wayne and Larry on the Packers Radio Network. Thank you. That's at 620 WTMJ. Thank you so much for being here. Great Good to, to be here, you. guys. I'm excited Good to for the see big you games. again, Wayne. All right.